Hey, what is up LEGO fans? Today I'm continuing my series of which LEGO Star Wars sets you must have in your collection. And today we're basically talking about the prequel trilogy. Last time I did about the original trilogy and it actually did pretty well. So I decided to continue this series with episodes 1, 2 and 3. Last time I just called the set numbers and the sets you must have. And this time I'm going to divide them by episodes such as episode 1, episode 2 and episode 3. Let's get into it. Starting now with episode 1 we have the Phantom Menace. For Phantom Menace I've basically just chosen three sets which is the Naboo Starfighter, Darth Maul Sith Infiltrator and the Duel on Naboo. Those three sets are probably the basic sets you're going to need to fill to have a collection of episode 1 sets. I think that that is full enough for your episode 1 collection. I was thinking to use the ship, the underwater ship that we have an exclusive minifigure such as Queen Amendola but I thought that that was, set was so much overpriced right now so I just chosen those three sets which has also the main characters and well it doesn't have Jar Jar Binks but I think those are the three main sets which you're probably going to need for your episode 1 collection. Bringing in episode 2 I've chosen four sets such as the Republic Gunship. Republic Gunship is the main vehicle for the for the ending of the Attack of the Clones episode because that is the episode where the clones are landing to save the Jedi from the Geonosis arena and the ATT with Duel on Geonosis. So Duel is Geonosis is very special set for me because it includes a really cool edition of Count Dooku and Count Dooku is basically my favorite Star Wars character and don't forget about the Obi-Wan Kenobi Starfighter coming this year well that is probably the only one set we're getting for to celebrate Attack of the Clones that is really sad I was hoping to get more sets just as Pixie's Diner and probably a Genosis Arena will be amazing but what Lego brings to the table it is what it is and probably the best episode from the full Star Wars trilogies it's Revenge of the Sith Revenge of the Sith is the third episode on the prequel trilogy and the latest episode of them all. So for episode 3 I've chosen a lot of sets actually. To begin with I have the two Obi-Wan Kenobis and Anakin Skywalker's Star Fighters. Those are the main vehicles that appear in the beginning of a Revenge of the Sith. I mean when they fly through the Venators to General Grievous's ship such as the Malevolence. Yeah the Malevolence is going to be in a Clone Wars must have series so stay tuned for that. So continuing our list we have the Clone Trooper Turbo Tank. Clone Trooper Turbo Tank is one of the coolest, I think, clone vehicles that has LEGO made and the Star Wars and the Star Wars designers, such as George Lucas. And yeah, the Clone Turbo Tank contains actually Luminar and Duo. I'm talking about the set that was in 2017 or 2016, which features um, two clones, two Jedi's, and the two Rogers. See, so that is actually an amazing set. And to fight with, you're probably going to need Droid's gunship and the ATRP, which is probably going to be the main vehicles you're going to need for your army. Another really awesome set from Revenge of the Sith is General Grievous's wheel bike. So I have it in my collection as you can see and it is probably a great set to have the two main characters such as General Grievous and Obi-Wan Kenobi. So that is actually a really awesome set for your collection. A set that is one of my favorite sets that have LEGO ever produced is the Palpatine's Arrest set. So this scene is probably my favorite scene from the whole Star Wars movie but man is just so overpriced right now. It has grown up in value so much that the original price was $100 as I remember and right now I see deals for $500 and they're selling it for $400. So that is actually really expensive for me. So I'm just going to sit down and wait till it go down which is probably never going to do because it's only going to go up. And yeah Palpatine's Arrest is the set that I'm really wishing to have. I'm not thinking of having it in my collection as soon as possible. But that is a really amazing set for your collection if you are a fan of Revenge of the Sith. And getting to the two final sets we have Dwell on Mustafar. That set is basically from 2020 and it contains the two main characters for the whole prequel trilogy such as Anakin Skywalker turning into the Sith Lord that we know nowadays, Darth Vader and Obi-Wan Kenobi which is probably the main character for the Summer Wave. So yeah guys, the Dwell on Mustafar is probably a really cool set and as the list continues I have chosen the three dual sets which is probably the three main dual sets that you will need for your prequel collection. And finishing our list we have Darth Vader Transformation. This is the ending of episode 3 Revenge of the Sith. This is probably the cheapest way that you can get Darth Vader in the set which was retailing for $20. I didn't think that it has grown up in value that much. I think maximum a sealed version of it is about $60 
dollars or you can even search for forty dollars as i did which is probably a great set to have palpatine and darth vader so you guys this is a really cool set for your revenge of the sith collection and basically for your even full original trilogy and other waves because darth vader is the main character for the whole star wars movie line so that is probably it for today's episode i have chosen the main sets that you're probably going to need to have your prequel trilogy collection the dual sets is probably the main sets that you're going to need for your collection and what do you think about this please let me know in the comment section down below if you enjoyed this episode to continue this series do hit in the like down below don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your star wars friends now see you legends in the next one peace out